Disney for Valentine's Day have released Daisy and Donald as well as Lady and the Tramp. Although the drop has already happened, on this episode of Inside the Vault, we're going to look at the background of these characters, what you should be paying attention to, and the market floor price as of right now. So let's get started. Welcome everyone, my name is Andy and I appreciate you taking some time out of your day to come and watch this video on the channel. Just before we get going, if you are enjoying the content and you want to support me further, you can hit that subscribe button and if you want to support me even further than that, you can join the membership. Understand that Inside the Vault is usually for before the market has actually happened and the drop happened but I had internet issues yesterday and I felt why not give this a go for after it's actually dropped to see the price predictions I thought it was going to be what it's sitting at right now and maybe where I believe it could go to as well as giving you some information behind the scenes of it all within still relative to inside the vault. So Disney have released another golden moment something we didn't really think we were going to get so early on. For me personally I did believe we we're maybe going to get one every year the Disney plus week but I guess we're seeing more early on. Now, it has been clarified on Twitter that it wasn't actually Vivi's decision to do this. Disney had approached them and said, listen, can we do anything for Valentine's Day? And who's really going to deny Disney of that? At the end of the day, Vivi are working in partnership with Disney right now and is still a very young company. Therefore, having Disney come and approach them and say, hey, listen, we want to do this, you're going to say yes. You're not just going to say, nah, I don't want this. Don't want it anymore. So there is a reason why the golden moments are coming. They wanted to celebrate Valentine's Day and Daisy and Donald and the Lady and Tramp are the best ways that they found that they could do this in the time given. Let's have a little look at the article, what we were going to be getting, what they're representing, and then we can go into both of the characters and sort of their background on what they actually are. So here we have the Disney golden moments and these are just again it was in blind box format we have Daisy and Donald right here which was the common and they're sitting around the same amount of additions that the previous Disney golden moments had sat with 13,333. You can see here that it is a first appearance back to the video that I made on first appearance and first edition we can see that these are actually characters and not cards therefore our first appearance because they have a storyline to them as well as have been seen in movies tv shows and and films. And over for the rare, we have The Lady and the Tramp from the 1955 film. There were 7,777 editions of these and the series was in the Valentine's Day, again being first appearance. We haven't saw Lady and the Tramp within the lenticular cards, so there isn't really any misunderstanding when it comes to this, but it's just a general observation of what they are. First, we're going to start with Donald Duck and just understanding him and potentially Daisy as a character as well, because they are both together when it comes to this. However, Donald is certainly the more popular of the two. In the video that I made previously on the lenticular cards and the comments a lot of you helped me see that Donald Duck actually is a lot more popular than I thought. Here in the UK, yes there is some popularity there but it's not the same as some other countries. I found that even Donald Duck was celebrated yearly in certain countries for just being the character himself. Now Donald Duck does actually have his own day with his National Donald Duck Day on June the 9th because on June the 9th in 1934 Donald Duck made his first appearance in The Wise Little Hen. That was the first appearance that we'd seen of Donald Duck and quickly rose to fame after that. Donald Duck created sort of his character to bounce off of Mickey Mouse who was already introduced to the series by that point. Donald Duck is said to be the third most popular cartoon character that there is seen Bugs Bunny and Mickey Mouse himself. So there is a massive massive audience when it comes to Donald Duck just in general. I think it's purely because really when you get older you don't really see Mickey and Donald and all that sort of stuff as much in movies and cartoons just purely because they're not really something that we watch at this point. So for me personally, I don't see them as much as maybe someone like Mickey Mouse or other things that are coming out on Vivi right now, purely because it's just not the content that I'm consuming anymore. But I know for kids and everyone growing up, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse is a massive, massive thing. And even some of the Christmas movies when it comes to Disney stuff, I still love to this day. So I can see how popular he is. See, there's a lot more to Donald just in general when it comes to everything than I could find on Daisy. But we did find that Donald has actually appeared in 150 theatrical films more than any other Disney character character and is the most published comic book character in the world besides the sort of superhero genre. So there is just so much to him and I genuinely couldn't find that much on Daisy in general. It was just that the cartoon was created by Walt Disney as the girlfriend of Donald Duck. Her first appearance was in 1937 as Donna Duck and not Daisy and she has made other appearances since then but couldn't really find any sort of good information behind her and just everything in general, you know, the appearances of her, her voice actress, the history of her, there, there wasn't too much that I could find when it came to that. It was just more so that Daisy was introduced and debuted in animation films and appeared in a total of 12 Donald Duck short films. So although Daisy is an important aspect of Donald, it seems that Donald certainly has took the popularity side of things 
just as a whole. Now on to Lady and the Tramp. Some of you may know what Lady and the Tramp is. I'm not sure if everyone will. I watched it when I was a kid, but it was a film released in 1955. And there is a remake made in 2019, but it didn't get the best sort of awards for critics. It wasn't something that I felt matched up with the original. And it is something that I think a lot of people hold dear to their heart, just in general of what the love story told of Lady and the Tramp. However, I do believe that Donald Duck and Daisy will continue to be more popular than Lady and the Tramp purely because they can be in a lot more and can be in the eyes of consumers a lot more than something like Lady and the Tramp. Now, the IMDb rating for Lady and the Tramp in 1955 was 7.3. Rotten Tomatoes and all the critics were actually pretty happy overall with Lady and the Tramp itself. And the film was actually the most popular film in 1955, grossing a total of 66 million compared to 21 million for second place with Mr. Roberts. So it does go to show that Disney absolutely blew it out the park when it came to the movie ticket sales when it came to the movie ticket sales for 1955. It really does go to show how popular of a film this was, selling around 132,000 tickets at number one, compared to second place at 42,000. So this was a film that everyone was going to see, people wanted it and will know about it growing up. The issue is obviously now, when you take something like 1955, people who were born in that era who could go and see it and remember it, maybe are not on the likes of Vivi right now. Therefore, it might not correlate to the same thing as the 2019 version would be the only way that many people at this generation would maybe see it, grow up with it, love it, and then buy into some things like collectibles on Vivi or in the physical world. And I just don't see it being the case since the critics didn't really like Lady and the Tramp. It's not to say you won't, it's just to say its popularity isn't matching up with the likes of Daisy and Donald. Usually when I make Inside the Vault, my guesses for the prices are for the day of drop because after it, it gets a little bit harder as things often change in certain ways. But for last night, anyway, I guess 2.2K to 3K for Donald Duck and 1.6K to 2.4K for Lady and the Tramp. And for the most part, especially in the first maybe four or five hours, that was actually the case. But later on in the night, we definitely saw all of the additions being released and everything happening. So now we're seeing prices of 1850 for Donald Duck and 1400 for Lady and the Tramp. Let's have a look at the price fluctuations, what happened to them, and maybe get a better understanding of maybe what these prices could go to and what my plan or strategy is for this. If we have a look at Donald Duck right here, we can see that at nine o'clock, this is when it started to get the floor price. It started at around 2300. Now Donald Duck's support level was around about 2600 at this hour. I was seeing easily all of these being bought up, but we did see once we got a couple hours in, Donald Duck went all the way down to 1568 then we can see that the total listings actually went up from 300 in the first hour to 639 and continue to climb it only started to take a decrease this morning so what my presumption is is that over the next couple hours here we were seeing all of the additions made when the market came open we saw about 50% of the additions that were given out and I'm guessing it maybe took another hour hour and a half in order to get all of these additions there but granted that not everyone's going to be watching their collectibles every single second and I believe once we got to this point this was where we saw most of the collectibles actually being delivered and most people selling off to get a profit so starting at 1500 we started to see quite a rise after that as that was the lowest support level we'd found and now we've made our way up to about 1850 this morning since more people are waking up i do presume that this might shoot up a little bit for the next couple hours because it's nine o'clock in the morning here and then once the americans are up we'll see a dip in price again before another support level and then it will slowly start to rise so maybe if you actually see this video now it might be a decent price for you to buy in and actually hold for the while to me disney golden moments are something that's so significant and it's something that i do really want to hold for the long run it's something that i plan to hold for four or five years before planning on actually selling them off for profit so if this is something that you're wanting to get make sure you're understanding exactly why you want to get these and the reasons behind it now, again, we've got to look at this is the second sort of appearance of Disney Golden Moments. So does this make the first appearance of Disney Golden Moments more significant? Well, to me, it does. I think the first season is still going to be the most significant of them all. It was the introduction of Disney, something that really just blew the minds of the Vivi users themselves. And this is the second opportunity to get people into the Disney Golden Moments themselves. I still believe we'll do incredible over the long run. Just think maybe some other Disney Golden Moments will do better than them if we're talking on five year time spans. Sam actually put an amazing tweet out this morning talking about the listings themselves and how there's quite solid support levels 
when it comes to Lady and the Tramp and Donald and Daisy. So right now you're looking at the Disney Golden Moments that don't have very solid support levels where you scroll down once and it can go up maybe one or two K easily. Whereas with these, you're scrolling down the pages and they're still the same price. So right now, anyway, just because they've been released, the support levels are quite strong compared to the Disney Golden Moments, which could move quite heavily if one person decides, you know what, let's get into it. This line, I'll have a look at Lady and the Tramp. I'm guessing we're gonna see the exact same pattern when it comes to this. So we do see right here, it started about 2,200. This was the support level that Lady and the Tramp had, around about 2,400 in the first hour or so. We got more additions coming out over this time. We found another support level about 1,440. 40, and we actually went all the way down to 1300 before seeing a little bit of a rise up again to 1400 we're back up to 1400 at the price as of right now anyway at nine o'clock in the morning over in scotland so i presume again we're going to see this price maybe rise a little bit more over the next coming hours we'll see americans wake up some of them will sell off and then i believe we'll have another support level before we start to see that sort of consistent rise up with a consistent decrease in the total listings we've actually took a little bit of a dip on the listings again it seems like the same pattern when it comes to donald i would say we might see a little bit of lower prices maybe when this video is actually released today and then after that we're going to sort of solidify the support level before rising up now this could change if we get another big drop that's going to be coming up or other big news that makes people want to sell off it happened for these disney golden moments that were dropping but i do presume if nothing's really announced over the next coming days we're going to see a steady rise and a steady increase in price as these are bought and more people are getting into them to hold for the long run my strategy with this is to actually pick them up in the future. I want all of the Disney Golden Moments. That's something that I'm sort of setting myself as a target to do. And I need four more now. I need the Avengers logo. I need the Mickey's hat. And then I need these two new ones. But I need to sell off some stuff first before I'm actually able to afford those. I'm okay with just holding off at the moment. But if it's something you want to hold for the long run and you're here for a couple of years, then I still think they're a good purchase to make. Disney at the end of the day are an absolute behemoth of a company and something I've always loved to collect just in general when it came to Vivi. So if it's something that you love, of too, then I don't think there's anything wrong with picking them up. Of course, you've got to do your own financial research. Make sure you're taking your own risk assessment when it comes to this. Never put money that you can't afford to lose when it comes to this, because this is, again, is the most speculative investment that you can make in the world right now. What do you think about these new Disney Gold moments? Are you picking them up right away or are you holding off a little bit? Be sure to let me know down below. I know the video on the screen right now will be something you'll love to watch. Have a fantastic day.